Welcome, Gemini. I'm Brenda, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here again today to bring you your Angel Tarot and Oracle card reading for the week of March 16th to the 23rd. Again, I want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, sharing, and of course, subscribing. Be sure when you do subscribe to always click that bell button and make it ring, and then you'll get notified immediately when any of your favorite readers or YouTube creators are out here for you to view. As you know, this is a collective general reading, and what that means is that not all the energy of every single card may resonate with every single Gemini or twin out there on the planet, but take what you can from it. If you want clarity, accuracy, and answers to any questions, then I invite you to click the little icon and welcome you to do that in the top right hand corner of this video and it will take you directly into my website where you can see the services that I offer. All it takes is an email, simple email to me and we can start this process moving forward. All the other information, my beautiful Geminis, is listed below this video. <clears throat> Again, we're doing the Celtic cross spread with the base layer of my Angel Tarot, the Overlay Traditional Tarot, working with the four Lennerman, the three tea leaf cards. Throw that question out into the universe you need an answer to, Gemini, today, and this will be your card that the Spirit has sent you, the angels have sent you. What is it you need to surrender to this week? And also, you know, we have the beautiful Nature's Wisdom Oracle message here next to the Page of Cups. In conclusion, we'll be using my personal focus deck to tie in and conclude this reading. We start off with our general uh, crowning energy here in the middle of this reading. And then we have the energy above us coming in below us, the energy coming in behind us, and the energy coming forward towards us. You know, your crowning energy in this reading is all is the Knight of <clears throat> Gabrielle, better known as the Knight of the Knight of Rods. And this is showing me that you are moving forward in a very, uh, uh, you know, um, methodical way. You've done the work, you've thought about what it is you want to do, and now you're able to take action. You've been thinking of tweaking things, doing things different, Gemini. Maybe things haven't been working out as quickly or perhaps the way you had wished they ho had done. But you know what? Nonetheless, you've done your homework and now you're being able to take action. There is a passion that you have, a cause, a goal that you're working towards, okay? And you instinctively know what you need to do and you're applying your time, effort, and support into this, into this goal. This is beautiful. This is about stepping up into your confidence. And when you do that, you actually, uh, you know, exhibit more enthusiasm and you have to be brave. You're stepping out maybe into uncharted uh, territory here and you're, t you're, you're taking all that into uh, the equation and you're just saying, you know, come hell or high water, I'm going to do this. I, you know, nothing ventured, nothing gained. So, you know what? You don't get action happening and coming into you and opportunities to better yourself or move ahead on your path by sitting on your couch every day and thinking that the door is going to knock and someone's going to come in and hand it to you. No, you have the um, ability to know, Gemini, that you can split off and go in a different direction. You're a twin, okay? You have that ability to say, well, I can do this or I can do that. Both of them have consequences, but you have that ability to move forward and split off your path, taking on something new and courageous and brave to benefit you. And it's only then that you do that, Gemini, that you get to see the possibilities, the opportunities coming into you. Wow. Powerful message for your crowning energy card. Okay, the star. Well, I'm not surprised. You've done the work. You're trying to change things. You're trying to make your life better. You've got the star. You're illuminating. People are going to take notice. You're getting, you're going to get noticed. Okay. Some of you may be building up more clients, more, uh, you know, uh, networking around more people uh, by stretching yourself uh, into new opportunities. You're going to be able to make a dream come true. And it's all because you finally stepped up and said, you know what, I'm going to do this. I believe in myself. I know what I know. And I want to share that wisdom with the world to be of service. And you know, it will be the end of a difficult situation for you because you are stretching yourself. Okay. You are expanding yourself. You are showing growth. Beautiful. The Empress. Well, there you go. Here you are knowing what you want to do and acting upon your plans and stepping up into your power. 
taking control of yourself again and saying, you know what, this is who I am. This is what I'm going to do. There'll be those that are going to fall off my path, but so be it. And there'll be those that are going to always remain in my loyalty part of my life. And they're going to support me. And your creativity is what's leading you towards this progress. You're always thinking, always thinking, Gemini. Oh my gosh, you guys are the communicators. You know, you're constantly wanting to uh, change things up in your life, but you're creative enough to do that. Okay, and that's where your rewards are going to show because you're creative in what you do. You want abundance and you're going to receive that. I mean, abundance and luxuries come in many forms, time, effort, support, money, love, health, security, home, stability, foundation. Wow, I could go on and on and on, Gemini's. But you are doing the work to see this come to fruition. You're the star. You're lighting your path now. You're getting recognition absolutely fantastic coming in behind you you've been given the gay the the page of raphael this has been coming up for others too as a lot of these cards have because that's the energy apparently around this new moon that's coming out this week for people and this is often the gift of love this could be somebody younger acts younger looks younger they're they're young at heart uh they bring joy and fun and a distraction into your life uh but with this type of energy because they're not completely mature the pages could be male or female uh you know they they uh there there will be up and down moments good and bad you know struggles and strife and all and and great times okay makeup times so there's a new emotional situation coming into you and some of you it will be the form of a person a person coming in offering their attention and their affection and perhaps a new love in your life for some of you but also it's a new emotional situation okay and you know what you may be getting messages regarding relationships someone may be bringing you a message about a relationship in your life or even a social invitation okay that requires you to go to it could be a wedding uh, an engagement something like that uh you know the announcement of a birth of a baby okay but i want you to tap into your own gentle loving dreamy open-heartedness okay because that's what this page represents and it also means that you need to tap into that as well to uh to this emotional situation that you're dealing with with you know you have intuitive insight beautiful gemini's you're very intuitive tap into that part of your life that dreamscape of your life be open-hearted to receive uh, the love and the gifts and the abundance coming in. Look at this. Four of Gabrielle. Four of Wands. Celebration. Yeah, that's what this means. Fantastic, Gemini. Doing the work. I said you're going to be illuminating your path. This reading is so positive, it's scary. This is amazing. So there's going to be time now to celebrate, okay? the abundance and the rewards for your hard work that you have applied yourself to you know your due diligence your determination uh your insight allowing yourself to be inspired step out be brave and do new things changing things staying focused on your path reaching for that goal and believing in it in yourself and that you're going to get it is bringing it to you so I want you to let go of any negative thoughts, let go of any burdensome uh, situations that surround you. Those types of things put up blockages. Those types of things hold you back and tie you down. Let them go. Throw them out into the universe. You don't need to carry them because my beautiful Gemini's, wow, you're going to be celebrating. Fabulous. Coming in with your first Lennerman message, the wishing well. And, you know, this can uh, throw your wish into the into the wishing well, because as far as I can see, you're going to get it. Uh, but be careful what you wish for. But I do see you soul searching, digging deep. We've talked about this in this reading, researching, doing something, delving into something, crossing your T's, dotting your dot I's, and making sure all the information is put out into the universe or there's places that they need to go uh, so that you can reap the benefits of them. Beautiful. You've been given the bridges, and this is all about new doors opening up for you easier passageway okay uh you know you 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 have doors opening up you have bridges opening up uh, this is the destination from one spot to another and now you're able you've had difficulty in the past and now you've dealt with those struggles and challenges and now it's getting easier you're getting passage passage to move forward into the direction you want to go and you're going to have stability look at the anchor being able to have uh, feel at peace wherever you are feeling stable feeling secure uh, maybe it's financial security. Maybe it's being in the home you want to be in. Maybe it's paying the mortgage off. Uh, you know, maybe it's being able to finally have roots to call home and stay in one place for a long, long period of time. 
The beauty of this card, though, is that at any time you want Gemini's, you can pull that anchor out and say, heave ho, I'm going in a new direction and following my passion. The wind is carrying me. Look, right next to the star, you've got foundation, you've got the four-leaf clover. I mean, can we say any more about this beautiful energy here, Gemini? Can we not say that, you know, wow, yes, You've got luck on your side. Your energy's going to shift. Things are working out in your favor. Uh, all of this, all of this is coming into play. And you know why? You see the white flower. What does white? White illustrates divinity, purity, divine sending you this beautiful energy coming into you. You've leaned into it. You've trusted your divine energy that you lean into, the sources that be that you pray and manifest and meditate towards. And they're bringing it. It's coming. Wow. Coming in with your answers from the angel, Gemini, you threw that question out into the universe, I hope. Do it now because this is your answer. Don't give up, my beautiful gems. Don't stop what you do. You need attention. You know, you need to share your gifts. This is not the time to give up. Continue to move in the direction of your hopes, your dreams, your plans. But I see you're doing that here. You are doing that. You are on the right path and you should see progress as long as you stay on this course of action. Okay, don't waver off this path. It's very important that you stand your ground and believe in yourself. All right, don't let others intimidate you into quitting. Don't allow yourself to think that it isn't going to work out. Okay, just because they don't have your vision doesn't mean you shouldn't follow your heart. Don't give up, Geminis, okay? Never, never, ever. You're so creative. You're so positive most of the time, okay? And at any time being a twin, you can split the direction you're going to go. Not hang on to one set course, okay? Not being one set minded, all right? Be open-minded. And you're doing that here. And that's what's bringing you in this prosperity and this success and this abundance. Wow. What do you need to surrender to? Fear. You know, I said don't stop, okay? Let go of the fearful stories you're telling yourself. Stay in the moment, focus on solutions and celebrate every baby step forward. So, you know what? You may have had, you know, some uh, disillusionment. You may have felt, uh, you know, that things weren't going to work out. You may have felt defeated, you know, all the work and effort I'm doing and what am I getting for it? And you know what? You let all that ego come into play and all that negative energy. And all of a sudden now, you know, it, it takes over. Never, ever let fear lead you on your path to success, Gemini. We never, ever can allow that. We all have the natural innate ability uh, to feel fear. Of course we do, of the unknown. Or, you know, afraid that things aren't going to work out. Or, you know, uh, feeling defeated and depleted. Uh-uh, that's not this week. My Geminis, you've proven to me you've made those changes ASAP. You must have had a really good heart-to-heart -heart discussion with yourself, okay? You had your pity party. Now get over it because you're moving forward, my friends. You're going in a new direction. And for some of you, read this. Look at these messages coming in and make that move. Progression. Move forward. Do what it is you want. Be brave. Yeah, it takes courage to do that. Let go of the fear, my Geminis, because you'll never get ahead if you continue to let that lead you on your path. But I don't see that happening. I see you pushing through the fire, the challenges, uh, you know, the disillusionment, the defeat, feeling of defeat. Ha! Not now. You've stepped up. Wow. I can't stop saying wow enough. It's just amazing. Now, our tea leaf messages might be a little more challenging. You've got the kangaroo, and that says unsettled times need to plan ahead. So we all have challenges, right? We all have things that come up in our daily, uh, you know, even just daily, never mind weekly. Uh, you know what? And you're going to do that because you're being creative, okay? And your luck's going to change because you believe in yourself. You're stepping up into your, uh, your confidence level. You're taking control of your future. And you're saying, you know what? Come hell or high water, I'm going to make this work. You've been given the mountain. Major challenge to overcome. Well, mountains are hard to climb. We know that, right? We know that this is a work in progress. Life is a continuation of a, of, of, of a, you know, of a leap of faith and also moving forward into progression. We expand. We can choose to stay where we are and sit on the couch and have a pity party, or we can get off our backsides and we can go out there and say, you know what? I'm afraid of heights. I have fear of heights, but damn it. I'm going to traverse that mountain one foot at a time, one step at a time. And you're doing it. You're doing it here. 
you got the angel. Well, of course you did, Gemini. You're very spiritual. And you do believe in angels. Spiritual guidance, protection from harm. So don't allow that fear to scare you. If it has to do with a financial, a, rela a, a relationship, a health issue, security, home, stability. Uh-uh. You got protection here. Just lean into it. Keep asking them to show you the way and to protect you. Because they're doing it, Gemini. You're going to see all of this. If you stay focused, if you believe in yourself, if you throw fear out, okay? Throw fear out. Caution on error. Throwing fear out. Wow. Again, another wow. I wonder how many wows I've said. I'm going to have to put that in the title, Gemini, because this is amazing. Now, next to your page of Raphael, you've got show your support. There may be somebody coming into you. This young page may be wanting to come to you and talk to you about their love life. Or maybe you have the intuitive gifts of helping somebody. Maybe you're a card reader. Uh, maybe you're a healer. Maybe you're going to send someone support that they need, a young person or someone around you. You know, take time to encourage a colleague, a coworker, a family member, uh, or a friend. Be a strong shoulder or willing volunteer to run errands for those that need you. And that's your trait, Geminis. I know you're givers, okay? Be strong. You know, be a strong shoulder or willing volunteer. Provide a safe space for another's concerns and feelings to be discussed and be a good listener. Jump in on providing extra time. Sponsor someone else's work. Share in someone else's success. That's important. We must all share in someone else's uh, success. Never ever uh, try to compare or ever be envious of someone else's hard work and labor. We need to support each other. We rise by lifting others. All of nature continually shows us the value in creating a strong network as well. The trees provide shelter and support for many different inhabitants. We are a community and when we support each other, everybody gains from it. Wow, again, another wow. This is an amazing reading, Capricorn. If you thought you were having a pity party and you were feeling down on yourself, defeated, depleted, and you didn't know, uh, you know, your hard work is paying off, you just got a major, major reading today on changing and shifting. This new moon has brought you to where you are now. Wow, again, again. Well, I'm just going to call this wow today. What do you need to focus on? Spirit, please tell me what Gemini needs to focus on. Forgiveness brings peace. Forgive yourself for having that pity party. Forgive yourself for allowing that negative energy to take over your mind. Allowing that fear to step in and hold you back. Okay, throw it out. Get rid of it. It doesn't need to rent space there anymore in your head. Okay, let that crown chakra only receive the white light, the beautiful, beautiful energy of white healing light coming into you. And then you'll be able to see it with your third eye and the throat chakra to open up yourself to speak your truth and talk about it and communicate it because it's something you love on a heart level, on an emotional level. And you're stepping in with the, with the solar plexus chakra, with your, with your confidence. And you know what? Your sacral. What's important to you? You're moving forward. And of course, now the root, the root is receiving this and you're having stability. All of that came into this reading. If you look at these cards, all seven chakras, all seven chakras came into this. Forgiveness brings peace, my beautiful Geminis. I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful, optimistic week here. And trust me, it is a wow kind of a week. And never forget how far you've come. Everything you've gotten through, all the times you've pushed on, even when you felt you couldn't, all the mornings you got out of bed, no matter how hard it was, all the times you wanted to give up, but you got through another day, Gemini. Never forget how much strength you have learned and developed. And remember, the universe and the divine, your higher power, wants you to succeed and find your happiness and peace. So Gemini, surrender to it and move forward towards your goals and happiness. Blessings, my beautiful souls, and know that I always and only stand in this circle of love and light for you. See you soon, my beautiful twins. Have a wonderful, positive, uplifting week.